Alright, for this video we're going to do a weld design study. Off of doing the weld design study we're going to figure out the size of those welds. What they need to be. Are they okay? So, first things first, open it up inside SolidWorks and you open up your component. Next thing we need to do is we need to check these parts. Uh, inside here the parts are considered solids. Uh, welds are not very nice with the solids, so we need to first check this component and we need to make it a shell manager. So underneath the shell manager, um, you can either do shell manager or you can do define a shell. Let's do a define a shell, sorry. Off of that we're going to define it by thickness. Um, the thickness of our part is going to be a quarter of an inch in size and then we need to pick the face that we want to control it with. So right here I'm going to pick the internal face, the internal face. You can see that it's growing from the midplane, so go down to offsets, select it, did, I think the third one, yeah, the third one right here, and go in the opposite direction. Now it's going in the opposite direction for the design, hit check. We need to do this again. So we have to do that for the opposite part and the tube. So let's go for the opposite part, right button click. We need to define a shell. Off of that we're going to pick the internal face and internal face for this unit. Uh, that selection didn't happen very easily so you might have to click click. Then thickness, it's going to be a quarter of an inch in thickness. We want it to go in the opposite direction, so I'm going to pick the third button usually. Yeah, and there's the opposite direction for your part. Uh, we do want thickness to happen. Now, off that, we might be able to put a weld in at this time because you just need one thickness value, and then the other one you can just run as is. Uh, let's test it out and see. So, if we come in here, underneath our connection we want to weld. The weld we're going to do a single sided weld. We're going to pick this first facial and then the second right here. So it didn't put a connector around there for us so that's going to be the pain. So we want to actually do that for the third one. Third one's just a hundred thousandths in walls so do find a shell and then here we want to pick one, two, three on those surfaces, a hundred thou. And then we want to go in the inside direction with it. So there's the inside direction with it. And we want it to be thick. And hit check. So now we should be good. I'm hitting save right there, that little ding that you hear. Off of this now we come in and we should be able to build a connector set of welds. So let's go edge weld. We want it to be single. We want the first set to be this facial and then the second set to be this facial. Uh, our internal edge is going to be that edge right there around the part. Um, the size of the weld. All right, the size of the weld. This is aluminum. So let's go down to 4043 and let's try something small. We actually want to fail on the first if we can. So we'll say check there and check across. So let's flip it over here for the second operation. So the second operation we want to come in and we put in ed another edge. We want it to be singleized. So here's our first face, our second face, and then our edge. We want it to be 40-43 and right there, uh, let's say tenth of an inch for the weld. Next item we want to do is we want to set up for the finite study. So we can put in a fixed geometry here and a fixed geometry here. So those will be our first fixed. Um, that was kind of weird. Well, it's okay. Now, I'm going to set it in ISO so I can see how it's sitting up. Now, the next item I want to do is we want to delete 
the component contact sets because the welds are holding. So we're going to delete that one out. And then the next we need to do is an external load. So let's do a force load for this little tube. On that little tube, we're going to put it in a directional. So select directional and then pick one of the planes, any one of them. I like this top one. Now our force is going to be activating down, so let's say 500 and let's reverse the direction down. So there's our force activating on a part. We hit save and now we run our part. Uh, watch out on your mesh. Uh, creating the mesh, our parts are pretty thin. So mesh controls curvature based and the biggest mesh that I could get in there yeah, let's say is a hundred thou. So run your mesh and now we've got a pretty good mesh across the design but if you notice the mesh did not mesh with the thickness of the part. So let's see about doing that. Create the mesh and off of here under advanced render the thickness of the part. So it takes a little bit more time graphically but it looks better for the design. Now the orange is one side of the thickness the white is another side of the thickness so now you can see it across the design. Hit save all and now the next thing we can do is we can run the study. Check and verify you've got three things connections, fixed, forces, and then possibly materials. So all of those are material at 6061. The 4043 is the welding rod. So hit run for study. Now it's run through the study. It's picking up the stresses. So that's roughly uh, yield strength is uh, 40. So that's 14. So that's about a two and a half. So not bad. Uh, we'd have to move the force down just a tad, but let's see how the welds do. That's the big one we're concerned about. So right button click on results. And down here we can look up weld check bot. Hit check and it'll bring up the results on the weld check plot. So, so far we've got failure on two welds. So if we look at this, it's telling us right now on this weld that it needs to be about a quarter of an inch in size. So let's go back over here. Let's look at the two welds that we have. Let's edit those welds and let's drop down and give it a quarter of an inch in size. So quarter of an inch right there and then on the other side edit the definition scroll down and give it a quarter of an inch in size there on the design. Uh, run the study alright once you've run the study you can you look at the displacement displacements about oh, 80 thou stress on the part is 14 so it's just on safety factor 3 and the plot so let's look at the weld check plot well check plot we are now okay on both the welds so the weld is, should be 237 and it's a quarter of an inch should be 240 it's a quarter of an inch so if you wish to show the details here's the details Underneath the details, it will show what the weld size is, what the weld throat is, all right, um, what the joint th stress is, what the shear, and what the shear normal, and then the bending moment for the part. You can also put in a plot, and that plot is based off the weld size per the position along the weld, and that's what the the size variables are across the design. Uh, talk to you guys later. Have a good day.